Hello everyone, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. In this session, I will be discussing uh, the solution for the model question paper 1, which has been affected from 2022 for the first semester BE degree examination for the subject title Mathematics for Computer Science Stream 1 with subject code BMAT S101. As I have discussed in the previous video, the solution of uh, module 1. So, in this video, I am going to discuss uh, the solution for module 2. I will be discussing uh, the question number 3 and 4. Moving on to the solution, consider question number 3a expand log of secant x up to the term containing x power 4, up to the term containing x power 4 using Maclaurin series. Using Maclaurin series, we require to find the expansion of log of secant x to the term containing x power 4. So, by Maclaurin series expansion, we have the expansion of series of the form y of x equal to y of 0 plus x into y, y1 at 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into y2 at 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into y3 at 0 plus x power 4 by 4 factorial into y4 at 0 as they have been asked for up to x power 4 expansion. So, for that reason, I have written the expansion up to x power 4. Now, considering the given problem y of x equal to log of secant x and substituting at x equal to 0, Maclaurin series will be valid for always with initial value x equal to 0. So, at y of 0, we are going to get log of secant 0, log secant 0, secant 0 value is 1, log 1 will be equal to 0. Now, differentiating y with respect to x, we are going to get y1, so which is equal to derivative of log of secant x is 1 by secant x into differentiation of secant x is secant x into tan x. Here, secant x, secant x get cancelled, you are going to left out with tan x. So, y1 will be equal to tan x, put x equal to 0, we are going to get y1 at 0, tan 0 is 0. Now, find out y2 at x, that is differentiate y1 with respect to x. So, we are going to get differentiation of tan x is secant square x. So, put x equal to 0, y2 at 0 will be equal to secant 0, secant 0 value is 1. So, therefore, we are going to get y2 at 0 equal to 1. So, for further uh, differentiation, for higher order derivatives, uh, I am going with the simplification of secant square x as 1 plus tan square x. Here, tan x is defined as what? y1. So, therefore, I can go with the substitution. 1 plus tan square x as 1 plus y1 square. So, therefore, therefore y2 of x will be equal to 1 plus y1 square. Now, differentiating this y2, I am going to get y3. So, derivative of uh, 1 is 0, derivative of y1 square is 2y1 into derivative of y1 is y2. Put x equal to 0, we are going to get y3 at 0 will be equal to 2 times of y, y1 at 0 into y2 at 0. As we know the value of y1 at 0 is 0 into 1. So, that will be equal to 0 into 1 is 0 into 2 that will be 0. y3 at 0 will be equal to 0. Now, find out uh, y4 at x. So, y4 at x equal to uh, derivative of this. That's, that is nothing but to find out the differentiation of this apply product rule. 2 y1 into derivative of y2. Derivative of differentiation of y2 will be y3 plus retain 2 into y2, differentiation of y1 will be y2, so y2 into y2 will be y2 square, 2 y2 square we are going to get, put x equal to 0, we are going to get y4 at 0 equal to 2 y1 at 0, y3 at 0 plus 2 y2 at 0 whole square will be equal to 2. So, substituting all these equation in the expansion, y of x is what? Log of secant x, which is equal to y of 0 is 0, y1 at 0 is 0. So, y2 at 0 is uh, 1. So, therefore, x square by 2 factorial is 2 into 1. It will be x square by 2 plus y3 at 0 is 0. So, it will be 0 plus x power 4 by 24 into 2 will be equal to 1 over 12. So, the final answer will be x square by 2 plus x power 4 by 12 is the required series expansion for log of secant x. Moving on to next question. So, if u equal to e power ax plus by f of ax minus by, prove that b times of 
del u by del x plus a times of del u by del y is equal to 2 ab u by using the concept of composite function. So consider the given problem u equal to e power ax plus by into f of ax minus by. So differentiate this u partially with respect to x we are going to get that. Now we have function of x y into f of function of x y. So therefore, we are going to apply product rule here. So retain e power a x plus b y as it is. Differentiate f partial uh, partial derivative of f uh, with respect to x is f dash of a x minus b y into differentiation of a x minus b y with respect to x treating y as constant is a into one minus derivative of constant is zero. So that a I have written here. So therefore, it will be a into e power a x plus b y into f dash of a x minus b y plus differentiation of e power a x plus b y is a into e power a x plus b y into f of a x minus b y. So as we are going to left out with the, the same term here, so we will, which will be multiplied by a. For that reason, I have written this as a into u. I will name that equation as one. So similarly, I will find out u partial derivative of u with respect to y. I am going to get minus b into e power a x plus b y into f dash of a x minus b y. I think you came to know how we got minus b here. Differentiation of f will be f dash, and differentiation of inner term with respect to y will be zero minus b into one. It will be equal to minus b. Plus b into u, as I told you in equation one, that differentiation I have done. So I will name this as equation two, and I will multiply equation one by b, and I will multiply equation two by a, and add these two equation. We are going to get the required result. That is b u, b into del u by del x plus a into del u by del y will be equal to two a b u. Since We have opposite signs here, and this value will be multiplied by, and this value will be multiplied by a. These two terms are with opposite values, so cancel these two terms. You are going to left out with a b y plus a b y will be equal to two a b y. Is the required? Now moving on to question number uh, c. Here I have taken uh, the question from uh, set two paper uh, set two. So don't get confused uh, by looking at this problem. So another problem will be there from uh, is there from set two. I have taken that. So find the extreme values of uh, the function f of x comma y equal to x square plus y square plus six x minus one. Consider the given function as f of x comma y. Then differentiate f with respect to x and f with respect to y. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is two x plus six. And the partial derivative of f with respect to y is 2y. Now then equate f(x) to 0, f(y) to 0 to find the stationary points. I got x value as minus 3 and y value as 0. Therefore, the stationary point is minus 3 comma 0. Then differentiate f(x) with respect to x again. I am going to get f(x) x. I will be naming that value as a. So that will be equal to Similarly, find out partial derivative of f x with respect to y. We are going to get the value as zero. That value will be denoted by b. So therefore, b will be equal to zero. So finally, differentiate f y with respect to y. We are going to get c equal to two. So at the stationary points, what will be the values of a, b, c? Let us see. As uh, a, b, c are independent of x, y, so it will be equal to A equal to two and B will be equal to zero. C will be equal to two. Now considering uh, the difference of A C minus uh, B square, which will be equal to four, which is also positive, and here the value A is also positive. When these two are positive, we can say that the given function is minimum at the stationary point. Moving on to question number four uh, A. Evaluate limit as x tends to zero. A four x plus B four x. All divided by two, that all raised to one by x, and also another problem is limit as x tends to zero tan x by x whole power one by x. Considering the first problem in this, name the given limit as k. K equal to limit as x tends to zero. 
a four x plus b four x all divided by two that all rise to one by x as x tends to zero a four zero is one uh, plus b four zero is one so one plus one is two two by two is one one power one by zero is infinity so therefore we got one uh, we got the value of k as one power infinity which is an indeterminate form so for that reason i am going to take log on both the side so taking log on both the side in the above expression we are going to get log k equal to limit as x tends to zero in the right hand side i am applying loss of logarithm so i am going to get one over x into log of a x my a x log of a power x plus b power x minus log 2 when i apply the limit as we know that a power 0 is 0, 1 and b power 0 is 1 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 so therefore log 2 minus log 2 will be 0 divided by 0 so we got 0 by 0 form so once we got 0 by 0 form we can apply L'Hopital rule so what the L'Hopital rule says that the rule says that differentiate numerator separately and differentiate denominator separately so consider the limit as limit as x tends to 0 derivative of x is 1 here differentiation of x is 1 derivative of log of a a power x plus b power x is 1 over a power x plus b power x into differentiation of a power x is a power x into log a plus b power x into log b minus differentiation of log 2 is 0 as it is constant term so now put x equal to 0 we are going to get 1 pi 1 plus 1 which will be equal to 2 into a power 0 is 1 plus log a plus b power 0 is 1 into log b log a plus log b can return as log a b so rising the uh, by power by 1 by 2 which means we are applying loss of logarithm here as we know that log a power m is nothing but m log a we are using this property here so therefore it will be log of a b whole power 1 by 2 so by cancelling uh, the log term on both the side we are going to get k equal to a b whole power 1 by 2 now moving on to question number uh, 2 let uh, k equal to limit as x tends to 0 tan x by x whole power 1 over x so which will be equal to 1 power infinity how it is 1 power infinity is limit as x tends to 0 tan x by x is always 1 as we know that it is a standard formula uh, whole power 1 by 0 is infinity which is an indeterminate form First, take log on both the side log k equal to limit as x tends to 0 log of tan x by x whole divided by x so which is equal to tan log of 1 will be 0 by 0 0 by 0 form we are going to get apply L'Hopital rule so the rule says that differentiate denominator separately derivative of x is 1 differentiate numerator separately log derivatives 1 over x so that is 1 by tan x by x in apply quotient rule here x into derivative of numerator is secant square x minus tan x into derivative of our denominator is 1 whole divided by denominator square so now when i give limit as x tends to 0 tan x by x is 1 we are going to left out with x into secant square x minus tan x whole divided by x square when i apply the limit we are going to get as 0 by 0 form so once again uh, as we are getting 0 by 0 form go with L'Hopital rule once again so as log k will be equal to limit as x tends to 0 denominator derivative is 2x numerator will be 2x or we got 2x means differentiation of x secant square x is 2 secant x 2 secant x into differentiation of secant x is secant x into tan x so therefore we are going to get 2 secant into secant this secant square x into tan x that is what i have written here 2x into secant square x tan x plus the secant square x into differentiation of x is 1 minus derivative of tan x is secant square x so as we have opposite sign with the secant square x we can cancel those two terms and 2x divided by 2x we can cancel these two terms we are left out with secant square x into tan x apply the limit as x tends to 0 tan 0 is 0 therefore we are left out with k equal to e power 0 e power 0 value is 1 is the required solution for the given limit moving on to the next problem if u equal to f of x minus y comma 
y minus z comma z minus x show that del u by del x plus del u by del y plus del u by del z is equal to c. Consider the given problem u equal to f of x minus y into o comma y minus z comma z minus x. Let us define the value of x minus y as uh, p, uh, y minus z as q and z minus x as r. We can observe that p, q, r now it is a function of x, y, z. Now p, q, r is a function of x, y, z. Now u is a function of p, q, r and p, q, r is a function of x, y, z. Now I require to find out finally u is depending on x, y, z. u is depending on x, y, z. So for the, uh, that reason we are going to apply uh, partial derivative u with respect to x that is what del u by del x and u with respect to y similarly u with respect to z. So as we have del u by del x is given by total derivative del u by del b into del b by del x plus del u by del q into del q by del x plus del u by del r into del r by del x. So we can find out the partial derivative of p with respect to x. So here we have defined p with respect to x is 1 and q with respect to x is 0 as there is no term called x and r with respect to x is minus 1. So we have not on that uh, values. We are left out with del u by del x as del u by del p minus del u by del r. Name that equation as 1. So since we observe that f is a symmetric function on x, y, z, that is as we, we are having uh, the rotation here, we should know the cycle x, after x it is y, after y it is z and after z you are going to get back with x. Such a uh, symmetric uh, it will happen here. So after x it will be y and after y it will be z. Similarly after y we are going to get z, after z we are going to get x. So that is why it is called as symmetric function. So by using that property we can find out del u by del y as so you are you can replace p by q and q by r. You can replace p by q and q by r and r by p. That is what we are going to do here. So del u by del q minus del u by del p. So name that as equation 2 and finally del u by del z will be equal to del u by del r minus del u by del q name that as equation 3. Now adding equation 1, 2 and 3 we are going to get the right hand side as c. Hence we are concluded with the required result. Going on to the next question. If x plus y plus z is equal to u, uh, comma y plus z equal to v and z equal to u v w, find the values of partial derivative of x, y, z with respect to u v w. So as I have explained this problem in uh, the previous video, so you can go through that video uh, for uh, your reference. You are going to get the Jacobian value as u square v. E. So hence I have completed uh, the solution for module 2. If you have any doubts regarding module 2, you can put a comment and I am going to clear your doubts. So thank you for watching uh, this video. If you like this video, do subscribe to my channel and press like button. Thank you all.